All right, hope you all doing well. This is Marvin Preaching Sense. And I just want to do a quick video on three special, um, unique, uh, patchouli type fragrances. Uh, these fragrances are just special fragrances. Um, and you're going to see why right away. So the first one is going to be by Chanel. And this is Cor Mundell. Let's see if I can get this focused. There we go. Cor Mundell. Uh, this one right here, if you can see that, is, man, it, it is a special fragrance. You can't beat this type of, this profile here is amazing. It is a patchouli type fragrance, but it opens up with this, um, this orange, kind of a bitter orange accord uh, mixed with this neroli. And you all know that neroli gives those kind of um, honey type of nuances to it. Kind of a floral honey type of fragrance, uh, accord, I mean. And it opens up and you're gonna get that. You're gonna get this nice uh, kind of a sweet patchouli. Uh, so you'll get a little earthiness from the patchouli, but it's a sweet accord. It has a little bit of, a, you'll pick up some iris in here as well. And some rose, it's not a rose centric or uh, rose, um, forward type fragrance but it definitely you can get that rose some jasmine in here it's a beautiful spring uh, fragrance that you can wear in the spring i mean i wouldn't call it a spring fragrance and most people wear this in the fall and the winter but i think in the early spring this one is another one that helps you once again one of those i call it transitional fragrances it is um it's just an amazing fragrance it is you're gonna pick up the this beautiful white chocolate accord and that's what uh gives it nice that mix with that benzoin and some ambers and um you know, all of those type of things are in this this fragrance right here the hard thing is it's you know it's kind of pricey it is pricey it's not kind of pricey i mean i think it retails for like 350 dollars for a 2.5 ounce so it's really expensive definitely one you would sample don't just run out and buy it but you know if you're like me, you're patient. You know, you find stuff on Mercari. You know, make sure it's a trusted uh, seller, of course. But I usually try to just just be patient and find something that's. I think this one came for. I think it was like two hundred thirty-five dollars. So that is probably a hundred and fifty dollars cheaper than you're gonna find it. But you got to be patient and not just jump out. Definitely sample it. Uh, but it is special. This is not one you wear to the mall. This is not one you wear as you're doing errands. This is one that you dress it up. Um, you know, just just something special, man. This is for special occasions. So that's Cora Mandel. Next one on the list is one, uh, another one for uh, you patchouli lovers. This is by Hubagant. And this is Patchouli Sauvage beautiful classic style bottle i mean the presentation is just impeccable it is a uh, oh and if you like patchouli you're gonna love this man it opens up you're gonna get a little bit of a kind of a white kind of a grapefruit accord a white grapefruit accord but man this is a patchouli fragrance as you, as is in the name you're gonna but the, the thing that makes this one special is it mixes with the dried fruits you're gonna get some lapped in them in here as well it has um you know in a dry down you're gonna get a lot of good sandalwood so if you like sandalwood that creaminess that comes from the sandalwood kind of that tonka vibe then this one is going to be for you it is uh, one that you don't find it on too many websites you really find it on the actual website um, i'll leave some description in the description i'll leave the details there uh, but this is runs you about two hundred dollars um, and this is a 3.4 ounce. So it's like a lot of juice in here. Special fragrance. Once again, um, this one right here, definitely. Once again, it's another one you want to sample when you're dealing with these patchouli fragrances. I do think you need to sample them, but man, it is, uh, not talked about too much. I don't know if I've heard anyone talk about this. Now the Hoobagant line, I've heard of the other, uh, some other uh, fragrances um, by Hoobagant. Um, like I think it's um, Royale and ones like that, but it's just a classic 
patchouli type fragrance. You're going to get a little bit of those, um, just, just kind of classic. I wouldn't say like the, it's not barbershop, but it's just kind of something that takes you back a little bit. So special fragrance here. Uh, this is by Hoobagant. This is Patchouli Sauvage. Get your nose on that one. And then the last, but last but not least, this is one, I have talked about this one before, but this one is just another one that I really enjoy. And this is by Ursa. I mean, this is by, sorry, uh, Tiziana Terenzi. And this is Ursa. And sorry, there's a glare from my light here. So I'm not sure if I get this to focus in. But anyways, you all know this beautiful, cool, unique bottle. Um, this one right here is um, definitely can be a little more, you're gonna get a little bit more, it's a patchouli fragrance that has a little bit more of kind of a, uh, I wouldn't say animalistic, but um, definitely you're gonna get the, um, a little bit more of the oud type, animalistic type of vibe. So one I would definitely sample, but man, it opens up with this rum and dried fruits accord. Uh, you're gonna mix in with some resins, I think you even list some tobacco in there. I don't really get the tobacco too much, but definitely get the patchouli. Um, there's some leather accords listed in here, and it really puts you in the vibe of um, Killian's Straight to Heaven uh, Extreme. So if you were looking for Straight to Heaven Extreme, this one right here might be even a little bit more extreme than Straight to Heaven Extreme. If that if, if that's actually possible I have tried I do have uh, killing straight to have an extreme actually uh, but it's hard to find it's expensive I wouldn't even try going for it go for this one right here um, it's a little bit stronger but it definitely puts you in that vibe so this one you can get this one I mean a lot of time Ursa on Joma shop for example you can get it for $115 so definitely the most affordable uh, patchouli fragrance that I've listed today so get your nose on it get a sample my wife loves this one this is probably one of her favorite ones and I keep saying I'm gonna do her top 10 but I know this will be in it so for what it's worth so anyways get your nose on some of these patchouli fragrances if you want to fragrances that are gonna separate you are unique um, everyone that's not a it's not a note that a lot of people wear on an everyday basis so um, the Ursa one you could probably wear that one a little bit more casually uh, as compared to the patchouli um, the Hubegant, um patchouli Sauvage and the Chanel's Coromandel this one is one that you can wear a little bit more casually so um, yeah get your nose on one of these uh, fragrances get a sample I think you should sample all three. These aren't the dumb reach, uh, mass appealing type fragrances, but they are definitely special. So that's all I have. Just wanted to go over some patchouli fragrances. This is Marvin with Preaching Sense. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next video.